don't think that it can be defended. What happened on January 6th was, was, a, was an effort by, by people who stormed a building in an effort to, to stop a, an election. I wish that, uh, that as Republicans we had a, uh, we had a nominee that um, I could get behind. I certainly can't get behind. Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Are you considering being an independent at this point? Oh, I think I'm very independent-minded. <laughs> officially, uh, though, officially. I just, I just regret that our party is seemingly becoming a party of Donald Trump. Yeah. You becoming an independent caucusing with Republicans, is that something you're open to? I, I am navigating my way through some very interesting political times. Let's just leave it at that. In a stunning move, Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski seems to signal an openness to leaving her party affiliation behind and possibly switching to an independent. The implications of such a move would be monumental, considering the Senate is right now 51 to 49 Democrats or Republican. That'll invariably shift to 50-50, given the fact that Joe Manchin isn't running for re-election in West Virginia, meaning that Democrats are virtually assured to lose that seat. And then it's a game of defense, with Democrats trying to hold on to seats in Montana, Ohio, Arizona, Nevada, and Pennsylvania this cycle, which is certainly possible, albeit difficult. But if Murkowski were to leave the GOP, then suddenly Democrats might have at least an inch of breathing room that they didn't have before. Of course, that also depends on who Lisa Murkowski opts to caucus with. She could continue to caucus with the Republicans, in which case the GOP would still have control over the chamber. But then again, if she goes to the trouble of leaving the party, then presumably she'd try to actually send a message by doing so. And so there is the possibility that she could opt to caucus with the Democrats. After all, she purports to be pro-choice, only one party is actually willing to protect women's reproductive rights, she claims to be pro-fiscal responsibility, only one party is actually willing to cut the deficit while the other adds to it while heaping tax cuts onto millionaires and billionaires, she claims to be pro-democracy, only one party is willing to actually uphold the constitution, and it certainly isn't the one that's lining up behind an insurrection.